You've seen him run, you've seen him catch, you've seen him take a big hit on the football field and then get up ready to do it all over again. But if you would have asked one of the newest Jaguars what else he wished he could do, his answer probably would have surprised you. This is wide receiver DJ Chark being called the most impressive rookie of the Jaguars 2018 draft class. When the team asked him which skill he'd love to pick up in an instant if he could, he said swimming. This now NFL player from LSU opened up to Joy Purdy about his lifelong fear, and he's now he's just now realizing he can be safe around water. It, Joy, it's great, Mary and Tom, just to see him smile because of this huge accomplishment. Folks, you may have seen this video the Jaguars shared on social media and their website. It shows DJ during his recent swim lessons with YMCA instructor Mo Eaton. Doing this is huge for DJ because it wasn't long ago this rookie wowing the Jags and fans on the field is now wowing himself, finally accomplishing one of his life's dreams. I go the whole way. Let's do it, yes, I love it. He's going the whole way. Jaguars wide receiver DJ Chark is about to swim the entire length of a pool at the YMCA. A huge deal. Ready, go. Considering he's just learned to swim after only three lessons. You're a star football player. You're the up and coming star for the Jaguars. What was the reaction when some of your teammates learned that you couldn't swim? Uh, and most of them laughed. Uh, I remember Dee Dee told me I was too old for that. <laughs> the Jags rookie says none of his new teammates knew he couldn't swim until the Jaguars released this video, later posting it to Twitter and the team's website. I saw the video. You do pretty dang good. Yeah. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Uh, it's exciting being able to, you know, conquer something that was on my bucket list. And now when I go places, I don't mind hopping in the pool. As a child growing up in Louisiana, DJ tells me he was terrified of the water. But just as his height of six feet three inches is considered an advantage on the football field, his height helped him mask the fact he couldn't swim at a young age. And as I got taller, I was able to just stand up in most pools. So I never really took the time to learn. When the Jaguars were filming promos for the new season, they asked every player. If you could pick up a new skill in an instant, what would, what would it be? Um, swimming. Um, I don't know how to swim, so I usually stay away from uh, deep waters. So like right now, I can't, I'm not really interested in moving by the beach because I can't really enjoy the beach as much. So I need to learn how to swim. I was always open about not being able to swim, but uh, it was always something I wanted to learn to do. That's when he was introduced to YMCA swim instructor Mo Eaton. Were you surprised that he was not able to swim and that he was afraid of the water? I wasn't surprised at all. We see so many adults and kids that are truly afraid of the water, but to have someone um, that is a professional athlete to say, I am afraid of the water, but I want to learn how to swim was exciting. That's it. That's it. There you go. There you go. At times, DJ says learning basic swimming techniques nice. has been just as mentally and physically challenging as it's been learning several different positions on the football field during training camp. If you would have walked in and looked at us, you would have probably thought uh, I was crazy by trying to work on mechanics in the shallow end. All that hard work has also inspired kids who've watched him swim. And he takes the time to give every child a high five on the way out. And when they look up at, the, at him, he, they're excited and they want to work harder. And there are also kids out there who are teased because they don't know how to swim. You are a cool Jaguar player, so what do you say to those kids? You know, even though, you know, some people might think it's funny, if you want to learn how to swim, uh, do it for yourself, not for others. And once you learn, it's going to be a, a weight lifted off your shoulders. And Tom Mary, that was a weight he had been carrying around for 20 years. And he really wants to make sure that everyone watching understands they can do it too, no matter how afraid, no matter how old or young a person is. They can overcome fear in general and change their life. Incredible. Joy, the courage it takes to acknowledge the fear and then to take the steps to overcome the fear, it is stunning to think what an example he is for so many other people who don't know how to fear, how to swim, mm -hmm. and are afraid to say that they don't. And he's an adult. He says that 
there have been so many adults that have come to him mm. telling him they don't feel embarrassed anymore Aww. by their inability to swim because of the way he's put himself out there to encourage others. How, it really was fascinating. How freeing for him, but freeing yes. for everybody. This is such a cool thing. Right? That was awesome. Way to go. What a great story. Thank you. Thanks. For more information on learning to swim with the help of the YMCA or how to get your swim skills tested to see if you do need lessons, go to newsforjax.com. You can also hear DJ Chark talk about how he was the only one in his family who didn't know how to swim and how his swim lessons are actually helping him with the game of football. It's all in his exclusive interview with Joy right now on the homepage of newsforjax.com.